Hey guys, this is Are You Ready for today's May 1st, 2023, 8.58 p.m. Central Time. GOP 2024 Presidential Candidates Series. So a few of you have gotten a hold of me in the past few weeks. Been super busy. Uh, as time permits, I'm going to do these videos as more candidates enter the race, as well as uh, when August happens, they're going to do their first primary debate. Um, so I'll do videos after that those types of debates it'll fall under the same list i'm going to create a playlist on youtube uh so anyway the following people are in the race as of may 1st 2023 donald trump we all know who he is nikki haley is the former governor of south carolina and also the ambassador to the un under trump uh vivek ramaswamy who's an entrepreneur by far youngest candidate in this race, 37 years old, 100%, I will say this before I even go into his video, the dude is interesting, but his ideas will never come to fruition at all. <laughs> and they're old ideas, like, um, he even tweeted it a while ago. It says, like, get rid of the FBI and get rid of the IRS and replace them. It's like, replace them with what? Like, other people have said that shit before. It's like, oh, we need to get rid of this. We need to get the rid of this. It's like, no, we need to clean house, but I don't know about getting rid of it. But his ideas, he's obviously just way too young at this point. He doesn't understand how Congress works or anything else. Not trying to down him right away, obviously, but... Um, yeah, I, I need to learn a little bit more about him. He actually helped get Don Lemon fired uh, the other day. <laughs> so good for him on that. But anyway, moving on. Larry Elder, radio talk show host. Uh, Aishan Hutchinson, who is a former governor of Arkansas. Don't know much about him either. So I'm going to have to do some research on these people. But the potential people that may get into this race as well are Ron DeSantis, Florida governor currently mike pence vp tim scott is a senator from south carolina i believe christy Nome, who is the governor of north dakota or south dakota one of the two one of the dakotas i actually really like her uh chris christie who's obnoxious governor of new jersey former glenn youngkin uh current governor of virginia i believe Liz Cheney, good luck. Oh, God. It would be so interesting if she got in the race. I shouldn't say interesting as much as entertaining, because she'd be so goddamn painful. Trump would rip her so bad. Anyway, part of the Cheney dynasty. Uh, she was in the House of Representatives, got her ass kicked, and is no longer there. John Bolton, oh, good God. Uh, yeah, I won't even go into him. I don't know who Chris Sunus... I don't even know how to say his name. Sunus? Sunusu? I don't know. Either way, I believe he's a governor as well, or former, one of the two. Uh, so I'm going to have to do some research on people. I'm not going to do videos on potential people, period. I'm going to do videos on people who are relevant, that are actually in this race. So anyone who's interested in Ron DeSantis right now, as of May 1st, he is not in the race, and I do not intend on putting a video together for him yet. Um, but the five people I will do. So, but, and then I'll end this video. I would say my, huh, just off the top, the person I wanted as president has decided not and is the only person who has come out and said he is not interested in this presidential race. And I think it's wise of him because of who he is, how he carries himself, uh, his background, and how serious he is of a person. Because Trump is going to obviously cause quite a ruckus, uh, I'm sure, as he did in 2016. Tear people down and, you know, it's... I don't think he wants to get into that, that bloodbath. I think he wants to wait till Donald Trump is out of the arena before he runs. He's young enough that he can. He's in his 50s. I'll, give you, I'll tell you who he is in a second. But, um... It would be wise of anyone, even including Ron DeSantis, to stay out of the race. Uh, this go around technically. Anyway, the person I wanted was um, Mike Pompeo, and I'll tell you why. He has congressional background. Okay, he was a House repre representative. He was in the House of Representatives. Excuse me. He has intelligence background. He was a CIA uh, director for a while. 
So he's got intelligence background. He's got legislative background. He went to West Point. He's got a military background. And he's also got diplomacy type background due to being the uh, uh, State Department, head of the State Department. Um, so he's he's really well-rounded candidate. And the problem is with someone like him getting in the race is Trump will ruin people's careers like he did in 2016. The public is ignorant in general, but in politics, they only pay attention to what's shiny and beautiful, bright in their face at the time and then believe it as truth. So if Mike Pompeo got into this race, I believe sincerely, even though he worked under Trump, um, that it would it would damage him because of how Trump is. And I don't think he wants him, his image tarnished unnecessarily <laughs> by Trump. And I think it's a wise decision. So anyway, GOP 2024 presidential candidate series coming up. This is Are You Ready For It? Take care, guys. Have a great day.